going, everybody? Welcome to the first ever episode of Drat Nanigans, where I, Tyrant, will be joined by fellow Drat members to do very ridiculous things. What does this have to do with Airsoft, you might ask? Not Absolutely a, nothing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> I am joined today with Wyatt. Uh, how long have you been a member of the team? Since it was a team. Exactly. I'm another one of the founders, you <laughs> douche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, we decided we were going to make a little Asian market run, and we came back with quite an interesting spread of things. <laughs> As you saw listed earlier. <laughs> yeah, we have three types of ramen, which uh, one I'm curious about, one could go either way, and then one I'm actually pretty terrified about, so I <laughs> figured we'd just go through everything. Oh yeah, first we do have our delicious beverages, which will be used to cleanse Hopefully to keep us from vomiting, <laughs> or uh, making it colorful vomit. Yeah, I have a giant thing of green tea, and what do you have? I have grape aloe. Should be interesting. Now, do you like aloe drink? I've had aloe drink before, shown to me by one of my buddies when I was in Colorado, but I have not had a flavored aloe drink. Okay, so, so I'm you, a little curious. you went with a gamble as your palate cleanser. Yeah. Okay. Still interesting. Mosquito. Nice. <laughs> so, first up, we have our unknown. This is our unknown ramen. We cannot find a single type of distinguishing thing on here to tell us what flavor it is. This is it says Pad Key Mao flavor. That's the only English written on it or yeah. in it. And then we have what is that? That is the artificial beef and sauerkraut flavor. Yes, this is the sauerkraut flavored top ramen. It I don't smells what you think. Yeah. <laughs> it it exactly. And right here we have last one we have here is a spicy kimchi. It actually smells pretty good. I'm Putting it somewhere on a sun-dried tomato on the smell. Little looking forward to that one. Yeah, it, it smells okay, but I've heard that kimchi smells good but tastes pretty bad. So comes down to who makes it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this one here, this isn't actually something that I'm scared of at all. This I just wanted him to try it because it's delicious. This banana is, milk. Yeah, banana milk. I'm actually pretty excited to try that. I gotta be honest. Uh, these these are kind of a return for me. <laughs> these are silkworm pupa. Um, I have had these before. Um, these are probably a different type, but I have had them before, and originally I kind of described them as little chunks of sawdust floating in soy sauce. Um, yeah, this will be. I'm interested to see what you think of it and if it's actually changed. I'm at a little all. disturbed <laughs> that you're going to try bugs today. Well, no, I'm not disturbed with bugs. Just after you describe it before, I'm not going to say anything because I want more of a mystery. Okay. But over here, grass jelly dessert, as they call it. I don't think that picture looks like dessert, and it doesn't sound like dessert when shaking it. Yeah, it looks like a really weird veggie chili. Uh, yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but i got to point out something that's very cool. There's actually a little tiny spoon <laughs> inside the lid, which is so cool. <laughs> which is a little disturbing, because usually things that come with spoons are mass-produced and horribly flavored, like, yeah. you know, most puddings. You'll eat them, but you know it's not the good kind of pudding. And what's that? Shrimp paste. Ugh. So, you, if you, so if you know how paste is made, uh, be worried. What do they do? They just pretty much take everything that's not edible and just... Everything that's left over in the process and they paste it up. And then the last two things, which I guess if you're going to ask what our main event is... This is probably the first main event. Fermented Taiwan bean curd. So... Fermented tofu from the looks oh of it. God. I have seen people try this on camera and it does not usually end very well. Um, it's the drinks. And, oh, yes. We do actually have a bucket safety here. bucket. <laughs> Our safety bucket. Uh, this is also something I've seen people try online. Apparently this has come become rather <laughs> infamous. Oh. This is natto, or nato. Um, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be one of the strangest textures you will ever encounter, and it's just... I fermented beans? Fermented beans, pretty much. Well, you'll see and probably hear us describe the smell. I would like to point out first, this is directly inspired by Reckless Eating. Uh, if you haven't encountered their channel, I will put a link to them down yes, below. Yes, tag below. Yes. <laughs> so what, you, what are we going to start with? Probably... I'm just going to make it easy for you. I already got sauces on this one, okay. so... No, just take Let's go for it. Alright. If I can. This is the mystery or the Kam Pao Tuai Foon flavor. <laughs> it is definitely noodly. Spin, get a little bit. As long as you got something. I gotta get something. Come on. Oh my god, this is really slippery. These noodles are very oodly. Yes, they are. I'm just gonna. Yeah, that should gonna be good. For, I'm gonna go for that. Ready? Okay, three, two, one, and go. Mm. 
bland on the side of spice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really bland and a tiny, tiny bit of spice. That's really underwhelming. Um, that's college food. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna try the grape drink right here. It's edible. I'd put something in it, like a bouillon cube or something. Slimy grape drink. <laughs> try. Try my slimy grape drink. I will try your slimy grape drink. Oh, God! The <laughs> slimy grape drink! <laughs> it's got, like, little chunks of jello in it. It's actually really good. That's aloe. They're chunks of aloe that you chew. It's really good. Slimy grape drink. <coughs> the green tea is just green tea. But I don't care. I'm curious. <coughs> it's not it's really, Might as well. It's really good green tea. I don't know how it actually is. Which one are you more scared of? The kimchi or... The... I'm more scared of this Let's one. Let's cover that one last. Let's save the sour credit. Okay, we're jumping into kimchi. So I don't steal your drink. Alright. Get some juices on these noodles. Yeah, these are more these are more noodly. These are proper. These look like what you get when you buy top yeah. ramen. Oh god, they won't stop. I feel like this is starting delicious and ending horribly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It smells Three, amazing. Two, one, go. Do it. I like it. I would totally eat that. I wouldn't say it's as bland as the unknown noodles, but definitely very little flavor and but less spiciness. Yeah, too. a little less spicy, more flavor. It just, it just kind of tastes like very generic soup spices. Um, I'm not wasting this. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, rating for the unflavored stuff out of ten, I'd probably just go very middle of the road five. I'd have that. to agree. It doesn't go either way. It's not bad. It's not good. Five is perfect. I'd probably put this one at just over five. Not quite six. I would go one more. I'd actually put this at a seven. This is really good. I would totally... Mm -hmm. I must have just gotten a really bland one, because I got very little flavor. Oh, crap. It got on my pants. That's what comes from using a see-through table. Okay. <laughs> Moving right along. The main noodle course. Sauerkraut. Let's oh, uh, stir this up a little bit, because yeah. I haven't stirred it yet. Oh, God, it smells. Well, uh, stop using your nose. It smells really... Deceptively sweet. <laughs> it does. It has a very sweet smell. I want to get some of this you know, oh, gross yeah. stuff. All, all oh, he's going know. for the creepy veggie stuff. I don't know what to call it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to spin it because I'll think I'll lose bastard, it. Bastard, you got sauerkraut in my kimchi. <laughs> what? You got kimchi on my sauerkraut? Alright, ready? I'm ready. And let's, let's do this. Go. The aftertaste is kind of weird. But it definitely has a sweet taste. Yeah, it's really sweet to start with for me. You must have gotten some, some uh, more of the green stuff I than I did. This. That's what gives it its flavor. It's still not bad. Um, definitely better. This one I, I put at a 7. Like low so 7. So you like that one over that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's all yours then. I actually got flavor with that one, that's why. Ooh! You got it? Spicy. Oh my goodness! Ooh. I'm getting a little bit of that spice, but I don't think this is supposed to be a spicy dish. I don't think so. <laughs> On to the next uh, horrific event. Oh, that's... Oh. So let's, you... op let's open a couple here, okay. just so we have something to jump between. So, so you have, so you gave that a seven. Low seven, just barely, <laughs> barely a seven. I'd give that more. I'd give that like a five. Like it's about on par with this. I mean, this is tolerable, but it's just kind of bland. That one, I just don't like the flavor, so I'm actually putting at the same level. I would easily choose that over either of those two. I can see that. I, I did enjoy that as well. Okay. Now we're jumping into the shrimp paste. I'm gonna have to unwrap it too. Whew. Yeah, good thing you got the drinks. Uh, yeah. Damn, I'm gonna go get some of that grape aloe. That's delicious. What the hell is that? <coughs> oh god, I, I need, need to smell it. Uh, you need to smell it. Is, is that mold? That can't, no, that, that can't, is not mold. That is air bubbles. Are you sure? Put it to your nose. Oh! What the hell is 
is that? Okay. Um, oh, shrimp paste? I think the manufacturer's twin chicken? Just looking at the picture. And that does not smell like shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great reaction, by the way. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. I know what it smells like. I know exactly what it smells like. It Crap. Smells like no, it smells like a really rancid dog. Like, ugh, stop smelling it! I'm intrigued by it! It's interesting! Well, yeah, I guess maybe that's why dogs sniff each other. Are you sure this isn't mold? That, Do you want to dig down? Do you want to dig down looks deep? like it's got little white specks in it. Okay, dig down and go for it. No, I don't want to dig down! <laughs> what the hell? It's hard. That is not paste, that's like dried glue. It is oh, it's a god. wax seal. Oh my. Oh god, it's getting worse. Oh I, Jesus. I got a lot of wax. I gotta, I gotta clean my fork here. Okay, so it's got a wax seal on the top of it to prevent the smell from getting out. Oh! I don't, I'm not taking a big one on this. I don't think you should either. Oh god. Uh, oh god, I rubbed it on my clothes. That's how much I'm taking off. Oh, is... Wait, I'm opening my drink to be prepared. <laughs> this is the worst idea. Why did we do this? <laughs> uh, Cheers! This is for you, YouTube. This is because we hate ourselves. I love you. Go. <laughs> it's crunchy. <laughs> it is crunchy. Oh, God. It gets worse. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. If I didn't have a drink, I would have thrown up right there. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Oh, God. Oh. Put that back on. Give that to your roommates when they come back. Give that to the dumpster. Oh, God. Oh. I'm crying. I've actually got tears. Is you that, can probably see them. <laughs> is that the worst thing you've ever put in your mouth? See, yes. And I've eaten some pretty disturbing things. See, I don't know if I want to do the banana milk now or save it. I probably want to save it. There's a lot of banana milk in there. Oh, you God. can take a sip. Oh, you will feel so much better. That was rancid. Okay, here's the weird thing. For like a second... God, I need to wash my hands. Like For a second, there's a good taste. No. <laughs> 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 I wasn't kidding you, it's on my hands. For a second, there's a good taste. I don't know what it is, it just kind of tastes like spices or something. Yeah, before you bite into it. Yeah, it's just like for a really quick moment, you can taste something good, and then it just fills up your mouth with just this rotten, rancid dog who just jumped in the ocean. It tastes really seafoody. I use this. I need something else. I need, oh god, me too. This has kind of become a palate cleanser now. Oh, god. Like, oh, I got shrimp paste on this. That's wipe it. Oh, God, what are you doing? Going for it. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, my God, I feel better. Okay, I used the same description for when I tried crab paste a while back. Okay, um, we live in Oregon, as I've already established, and one of our coastal towns is called Newport. And at Newport, there's a bayfront where you can go and watch the sea lions. In fact, watch the there's sea. a whole coast over there. Yeah, it's amazing. But this one specific area, there's a huge fishing center where a bunch of boats come in and they dump some fish guts into the ocean. Oh God, I got it on my drink. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, there's these wooden posts which go into the ground and just you see just rotting stuff floating all around them. The water just looks nasty. And it smells nasty. When I was trying crab paste, I described it as like jumping in the water and just sucking on one of those wooden posts and just getting this nasty ocean sh salty taste and that's that's on par with that. Seriously, save that for your roommates because I bet they would love to try some of that. Okay, this one I'm not as, I'm not as scared. Worried about. This is the grass jelly dessert. What the hell? Yeah, it's gooey. It's jelly alright. I gotta get a squiff of that. That, that smells weird. I know it that... It reminds me a little bit of the green tea smell. For me, I smell a little bit of green tea and like a weird old antique store. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Okay. I just want to put this together because I'm excited about it. It's a pretty advanced looking spoon. Oh, that's cool. There's got another fold in there. Oh, sweet. That is so cool. <laughs> that is the little spoon which comes with it. You okay? Burp. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want you to puke. Came back. No, we got two other things that are probably going to make us puke. Oh. I wasn't expecting the shrimp paste to be the worst, and I'm pretty sure it isn't. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> so you're not as scared of those two? Not now! <laughs> Alright, uh, you want to use the spoon? Or you can use your fork? Oh, he's going for it. Oh, that is weird. It is a jelly. It is very jelly-ish. Okay. Yeah. Get on my porch. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Not bad. It's totally edible. Not something. Oh, we forgot to rate the shrimp. The shrimp I'd put at a fucking zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put it at a one because honestly, even some, you could eat that if it came to an apocalypse scenario. I could eat that if it came to an apocalypse scenario. That is my de definition. I'd eat dirt before I ate that. <laughs> I would, I'd hunt for worms before I'd eat that, but there's a lot of things I would choose to pass over before I. That when frightens I, me. Oh. <laughs> um, that's this. Not bad. Uh, not good. <laughs> I go four. I would go very, very four. Yeah. On that. Low four. I'm gonna try it three. again. <laughs> oh, the texture is so weird. And there's like a little chunk in it this it time. It reminds me of apple jelly and how it looks. Oh. oh, I changed my answer. It's a three. I've never done that. <laughs> and you never will really again. It tastes, okay. To me, it's weird. It tastes like tobacco smells. Like tobacco that's still in its bag. Like pipe tobacco. It tastes like how that smells. I forgot we had these little buggers. Oh, God! This isn't how you saw them before last time, is it? No, that's not. Oh, my God. Do we need to cook them? No. No. Oh, they smell Horrible. I don't. It reminds me of the shrimp smell. I don't think you're gonna be bad. able to see that, but oh god, they just float. Yeah, they're just. Uh, you don't have them on the fork. Oh, that sounds really good now. Oh, that's a that's a ten now. <laughs> it's off the charts. <coughs> I'm just doing one. You're doing one. I'll go for two. Uh, so there. This is silkworm pupa. Um, what worries me is that it was right next to. Um, something which was labeled fish bait. That's true. Or it was like fishing bait or something. But this has nutritional facts and it's seasoned. So did the fish I, bait. I don't know why you would season fish, fish bait. bait. So, yeah, these are the silkworm pupa. And ready and go. What was that? Not good. Jesus. Oh. Oh. It wasn't the flavor that made me throw up in my mouth twice there. Was it the texture? It was the texture alone. Oh, God. I mean, I've eaten bugs before, but that's... That's... Mm. In a scenario, I could eat those. I'm I... going to put that at like a two. That's a two. That is totally a two. I will agree with you. I could eat that. It's better than the shrimp paste. Yes. Yeah, the taste is not that bad. I don't even. I can't even tell what the taste was. It was really bland. Yeah, it's really bland. Extremely bland. The texture. It's like you bite into it. Slimy and crunchy. Same time. Yeah. It just like it kind of crackles in your mouth and like it goes everywhere and it just you feel little chunks. I have chunks in my teeth still. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know what I have after I was vomited up. That was really weird. Texture. You, you've legitimately vomited in your mouth twice. I'm going for the banana milk because I, I don't know how I didn't vomit my mouth with the shrimp paste. I think it's just a mixture of everything down there. It's not happy. <laughs> Starting with um, really random ramens and then going into shrimp paste. I'm going back to my ramen. Save me, ramen. Let's see. It's good. Oops, just grim. It, yeah, it's, it's like a juicy box. Don't drink it all. Oh my god, that's so sweet and delicious. Yeah. I wasn't lying to you. 
This is I've had before while I was overseas. It's just like banana flavored milk. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that's exactly what it sounds like, and it's freaking amazing. That's a it's nine. It's really smooth. That's a nine. That's like a milkshake almost. Mm-hmm. It's really sweet. If you don't like sweet things, you would not like this. Milk, water, sugar, skim milk. Mm -hmm. so. Seriously, that's a banana milkshake in a little juice box. Would you like to have some? I've had it before, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just as good? Oh, yes. Where were, you, back memories. where were you when you had it? Afghanistan. Uh, <laughs> when I was starving to death. <laughs> hmm, banana milk, this will save me. <laughs> it was, oh my god. Oh god, you want to go for the natto? I just got, I'm just opening it right now. Okay. I'll oh, save me, you delicious ramen. I'll just open one. I was not expecting these to be the palate clinchers, but they're so good. I'm glad we started with those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Flavor packets? Yeah, flavor packets. Oh, it's frozen. Now. I think we should crack it open just to try the flavors themselves, because it looks like a soy sauce and a mustard. So I'm curious. Yeah, that's definitely, that's easily a mustard. That one smells weird. That's what I was going to say. Let's just crack these open and just get a dip test. Oh, God, they reek. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah, so when you crack it open, you got those two sauces in there, and that's what it looks like inside. Uh, it's still got the packaging on over. Yeah, and it I still smells of shrimp. <laughs> shrimp paste. All right, so is that the sauce? This is one of the sauces. Teriyaki sauce. Oh, cool. It's really, really wet teriyaki. And then this is probably going to be like a mustard. Yeah, so apparently if you put these um, sauces on the natto, it's supposed to make it a lot better. I don't think we're going to be doing that today. Because <laughs> we hate ourselves, as yeah. you've seen. That's just a spicy mustard. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, Chinese mustard. Yeah. I'm going to save this because this is actually really delicious. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> Rip all those open and just save the mustard. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know how much this was. That's the great thing about Asian markets. You go there, a lot of the stuff's not priced. <laughs> when you grab it, it's gone. Huh? When you grab it, it's just kind of a gamble. A lot of the stuff there, I actually did want to grab, but it didn't have a price on it. They had a durian, basically rolls. Bar. Yeah, it's just durian frozen bars. I wanted to grab those, but I didn't. Not uh, this time. That'll this be time. another episode. All right, so you want to go for the natto or the preserved bean curd? Do you want to flip a coin on it? Because that's all we got left. Oh, God. I think since this is open, we should go for this. Okay. Oh god! It's sticky! It's so oh, it's so sticky! It's so sticky! What is that? It, oh my it god! It looks like baked beans with slime. Well, it's not. It smells a lot better than the little previous things. I wouldn't say good, but uh, in yeah. comparison, it's so not that, bad. So I think these might, might need to be heated up or something, but screw it. Uh, <laughs> I know they're not supposed to be cooked, but... It looks like it's covered in little hairs. It really looks furry. Hairy snot. Yeah, it's hairy snot. Oh, God. You're the best. Okay. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Oh, you got a man bite right there. And some styrofoam. Oh, my God. Oh. There are spider webs on this. That there is, there is spider webs hanging from what I'm about to put in my mouth. In case we need the vomit bucket, I'm going to make some space if we can actually uh, get it up. Mr. Bucket. There we go. The balls pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. God, I need to stop wiping my nose. It smells of shrimp every Buckets time. Fun. Did we, oh. Um, Did yeah. we what? I was thinking if we forgot to rate anything. I don't think so. The banana milk, as I said, a nine. <laughs> the mustard and the teriyaki if sauce. If not, you can remind good. us in comments below. Oh. Uh, stop looking at it. Touch it and just put it in your mouth. And that's what she said. I think the frozen status is helping this one a lot. I think so. Oh god, I got spider web everywhere. The more you keep it in your mouth, the worse it gets. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. oh! It's not going down without a drink. Oh, I got mine down. Oh my god, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. That doesn't go down without a drink. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's in my teeth. It doesn't leave. It does not leave. I can 
can still taste it. Still not as bad as the shrimp paste. No. Amazingly. That is very zombie apocalypsable. So you gave the shrimp paste a zero. Just a straight up zero. I'm not even gonna, if I see that, I'm gonna throw it at people. <sighs> I'm gonna have to give that a one as well. That's a very high one. It's better than the shrimp paste. It's still... Better than shrimp paste? Oh god. I want to put it on par as a two with the silkworms, but... Because it's got the texture, but bad taste as well. Which it's be really hard to decide between a one and a two. Here's the thing: it looks frozen, so you'd expect it to be really hard, but just like it squishes in your mouth really easily. <laughs> oh, good idea. Ugh. It was on this. I don't care. I just want some of this. I just want the taste to be gone. This whole table smells like shrimp paste and silkworms. And failure. We haven't failed yet. We haven't puked. That was my, my goal was to not puke. <laughs> well, I kind of already did it twice. So. Oh, you <laughs> did <laughs> puke. <laughs> I keep forgetting you actually did puke in your mouth. But Nothing has gone in the bucket. That should be an achievement. Nothing has gone in the bucket. <laughs> Just our hopes and dreams. <sighs> I want some more of this. Oh, God, I see where you're getting that spice in this. Hmm? I, I just had one of those spicy pockets. Oh, and that stuff? Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of uh, fat in it. Really? Yeah. Fat calories, 250 out of 540. Would not expect that from whatever I just did. Oh, that is so tasty. <sighs> Why are we fatting you? <sighs> Compared to everything else. Oh, that's so good. Uh, I don't even think I can ever recommend this to someone. Apparently this is Only something- Only if you hate them. Yeah. I mean, it just smells like Failing. rotting food. Stop smelling it, let's close it's, it, and hate life. It's intriguing. Moving on. It's so intriguing. Moving on. <sighs> this is what I'm actually really scared scared of. The natto I was a bit more okay with because I know it's like kind of a pre-made meal that you're supposed to just crack open and be able to eat. And, you know, with the sauces, maybe it's actually really good. This is not. This is just fermented bean curd inside of a jar. They do not want you getting into this. I think we're going to need easier access to the bucket. That's why I moved it over. Okay. So you can just pick that. Right, if we're eating this at the same time, we both need to go We're for taking it. one chunk out and we're cutting that up. <laughs> okay. See, I was a bit worried, like, oh, it's going to get in our sauce on her plate and contaminate it, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Just don't get that juice out. I'm trying not to. That's what I'm worried about. Ugh. Wow, they want to keep you out of this thing. Or keep the delicious flavor inside. Oh. oh my god, I can't even Hulk drink this thing open. Power of the thighs wasn't enough. Well, the lid is still not a button, so it never got into it. But we can't either. I don't suppose you have one of those like lid opening helpers. Called a man? <laughs> That's a good point. Honey, I can't open this, can you? We might have to take a quick intermission to get this open. <coughs> and just throw out some of this trash. Okay, so we did actually manage to get it open um, just now. Uh, have not taken a smell of it yet. It just opened, closed it back up, and brought it back out here. Okay. I'm gonna look inside this thing. Now to smell inside. What the hell is that? Awful. Oh my god. That is, that is just awful. <laughs> this might rival the shrimp paste. It smells like really, really... Okay, if someone that did not know what the hell they were doing tried to make miso soup and threw some just really, truly nasty stuff in there... All the wrong ingredients. That's kind of what it smells like. I get a kind of a miso soup taste from... Taste? Excuse me. <laughs> we need to just pull one out and cut that chunk. All right. There's just eight chunks in here. So. My plate's cleaner, so we'll use that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, there's not really anything floating on the top. You can't really see I anything. Don't trust using my. Oh god! It. Oh, it's crumbling. <laughs> oh my god! It looks like flan. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you get your piece out of there. I'm taking some of yours, because I don't want you to die. 
You don't want to take that big of a man bite? Do you? I would. Just, uh, yeah, just because you would doesn't mean you should. Oh, it's... oh, it smells so awful. It smells like blue cheese, like really, really rancid blue cheese. It's ugh. That's it up close. This is a horrible, horrible plan. Okay, if we need to make a break for the bucket, we'll we're gonna we're gonna hit heads. We're totally gonna hit heads. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Super salty. Holy hell! I got it down. I got it down. Oh my god! So fucking salty. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god! Like there's pure salt. Oh. Freaking salty. It's just like taking a giant spoonful of salt. A giant spoonful of salt which has been sitting in really, really nasty juice. <laughs> in salt water. And then <sighs> add more salt to it. Oh. Would you give that any rating whatsoever? One at best. I, it's not something I would even want to So eat better than the shrimp paste. <clears throat> I didn't throw up. <laughs> That's a good point. You did not throw up. Oh. But I didn't just swallow it straight away. I kind of sucked on it. For me, it just like consumes everything. It's just like, you know, it, it's on this side, but just my whole face is filled up with the taste of just nasty, rancid salt. <laughs> so you're going for the mustard. Eating some mustard. <laughs> I'm gonna have some of this. Nice, spicy. Oh god, that's amazing. It's really spicy when you just drink the broth. It's really good. I burned all this crap. Um, I if, really want to throw that at someone I hate just so they could live with the smell on them. It's got really weird textures on it. It's like it's blue jeans. Oh, yeah, yeah it does. It has the crisscross. Yeah, I feel like eating this was a really, really bad decision. Oh, God, it's got slime everywhere inside it. Stop playing with it. I'm sorry, it's really intriguing. It's <laughs> disgusting. It was intriguing before I put it in my mouth. So the shrimp paste, easily the superstar being the worst for you. Easily. Hands no down, question. worst thing we've done so far. <laughs> That's true. We've got more things coming if we decide to do that. Oh, we'll do this again, because we hate ourselves for you. Yeah. Um, I would definitely label this worse than the shrimp paste. The shrimp paste at least had that very, very minor taste of being. I would seasoned. definitely put that close to it, though. That's why yeah, this is barely really give close. It a one. If I think if I tried the shrimp paste again, I'd probably hate it more. Well, this we have this, a this just got worse and worse and worse. Not as bad as the NATO, NATO, whatever. For that, seriously, the longer you held it in the mouth, in your mouth, it just kept getting worse and worse. More and more sour. This just hits you hard. It's just like salt, and then that's it. It just stays straight up rotten salt. Okay, what's the best for you? The best thing we've tried? Well, I've had banana milk before, so I'm not going to keep that in my list. Um, okay. For me, it's between the sauerkraut and the kimchi. Those were my two favorite noodles. I would definitely agree. I would say banana milk was fantastic. I kind of want to buy like a giant eight pack of that or something. This was really good. I would totally buy kimchi flavored soup now. I've seen people that have tried it and thrown up uh, in soup form and also carbonated beverage form. I want to track some of that down because I want to try it. I've seen people literally just gag and pretty much make a run for the toilet. So. If you have ideas, please post them. <laughs> uh, that's all we got for you guys today. Uh, if you stay tuned in the next Ratnanigans episode, uh, Wyatt, what are you going to be doing for us? Oh, was it Beaver Buster the Challenge? Beaver, the Beaver Buster Challenge. Yeah, Tommy's Bar and Grill in Corvallis, Oregon has a challenge which consists of six to seven pounds of food depending on who's putting the gravy on. Uh, and what were you saying your biggest weakness is when it came to the... Gravy! Yeah. <laughs> so there's a, good, there's a good chance you'll be having over a pound of gravy. Yeah. So it's... I've done food challenges before, but not this big. This is uh, going to be hard. So stay tuned for that, guys, and thanks for watching. And thanks for having, or thanks for having us at your house, Wyatt.
Uh -huh. Well, you'll probably see a lot of me. <laughs> Take care, guys. See ya.